and welcome to Today Tonight. I'm Naomi Robson. Tonight, how do you explain it? Doctors said he'd never walk, talk or feed himself. But after this healer laid hands upon him, he can do all three. It was definitely a miracle. The four-year-old who stunned the medical world, that story shortly. But first, to the story of a four-year-old boy who has the medical world, if not scratching its head, then at least admitting that faith may have played a part in the boy's amazing recovery. The boy from Queensland's Sunshine Coast was born with fluid on the brain and his mother was told that he'd never be able to walk, talk nor feed himself. Enter an international evangelist and faith healer who laid his hands on the boy and shortly afterwards, well, I'll let Erin Edwards take up this good news story. From this to this. This one! Miracle or medical marvel, just a few months ago, little four-year-old Matthias could only move by dragging himself and his lifeless limbs across the floor and was expected to spend his entire life in a wheelchair, completely dependent on his mum. The doctors told me that um, he was... He would not be able to talk, he would not be able to walk, he would not be able to feed himself and not go to a normal school. Basically he was going to be a vegetable. Diagnosed with a rare disease which paralysed the entire side of his body, Matthias's young mother Nahoya says neurosurgeons had written off almost any hope of improvement, so with nothing to lose she took a leap of faith. In the name of Jesus. We break arthritis, we command pain of his body. I took Matthias up there for, pr for a prayer and John laid his hands on Matthias and two weeks after that he was starting to stand up by himself and started walking by himself. The Sunshine Coast born-again Christian believes the amazing recovery is at least in part because of John Mellor, a globe-trotting miracle man who claims through the power of God he can heal anyone as Nahoya believes he did for her son. It was definitely a miracle from God. We come today to, to celebrate the goodness of God, how he still changes lives. How long has it been since you've your toes? About 10 years. Let's go for a walk. Jesus. Can we move this thing? Oh, can you get out like that? Jesus, strength. More strength. Strength in Jesus' name. More. More. I've seen Strength. people born crippled from birth, middle age, run for the first time in their lives. I've seen people born deaf, middle age, and their ears pop open and they hear. I've seen people blind 10 years and their, eye, and their eyes open and they see. I see, you know, you, you can't limit God. Gary Burns, like whose arm was Alan almost severed in an accident, agrees. Well, chainsaws don't take prisoners and it, it looked like a bowl of spaghetti, bolognese in there, you know. Um, they operated for six and a half hours, 166 stitches and um, 18 months later, I received a miracle. 16-year-old Jared Craxton also says he was healed of a chronic skin disease. I've had eczema on my skin on all of my body for 16 years now. And the other night, Sunday night, I went to a service with John and he's asked for healing and I've come down the front and he's prayed for me and the eczema has vanished from my skin, just completely gone. And Kayleen Peters and can now see. Once I was permanently blind, the doctors couldn't do anything for me. Now I can see faces, I can see writing, I can read the newspaper and it's an absolute miracle that God has given me. When I began to see a flood of miracles and I realised that, 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 that I must have a gift. I wouldn't say it's a medical miracle because we do see, we see a lot of quite miraculous things but they're all within the realms of possibility medically. Matthias's doctor, Brisbane paediatric neurologist Julie Panetta says she's not convinced but can't rule out divine intervention. I think it's very possible that faith and healing had a part of this. John is well aware of his critics but claims there are no tricks, no setups. He will treat anyone, even this stranger with an injured hand on Queensland's Sunshine Coast. And I tell the skeptics, come, see what God can do. Talk to the people who've been healed. Talk to the doctors of the people. He even says the money isn't that good. Well, I suppose there's, there's, uh, there's enough to keep going, but <laughs> it's just, I, mean, I, could, I could think of better ways to make money. John doesn't have to convince Matthias and Nahoya Harvey. The words are unspeakable, just utter joy. 
It's awesome. Let's go, Mama! <laughs> And if you know of any unexplained miracle recoveries, we'd love to hear about them. So please leave the details on our website. I can do anything. I can do all things. Cause it's you who gives me strength.